Hello everyone. Ah, this I, I don't know if, if there's any of you that are supporting this terrorism that is happening in the Southeast and feeling that oh this is all about fighting for you want to fight for Biafra or you want to no, you're just a terrorist. You are. Boko Haram that sit down, they are fighting for religion, they are fighting for this, they want to, this ideology. It's terrorism, that's what it is. It's not, it's never about what reason, why are you doing something? It's about what method are you using to achieve it? What is this about you go and kill soldiers? What did they do? That's what Boko Haram was doing too. They will kill soldiers. They will pick people who are working with, uh, with government. They will do this. What, why would you go, why would you go and be killing people because you want a certain right or you want certain something? What is the meaning of all that? You have deprived people of their economy, shutting down uh, places, telling people to stay at home, killing soldiers and all of that. What's the meaning of that? What is that all, that whole craziness? What is it all about? And then some of you sit down, you're supporting this nonsense, you're supporting this evilness, you're supporting this craziness. What is the difference between what the Nigerian soldiers did in, during the Biafra war and what you're doing now? Are you not both us shedding blood? What's the difference? Are you not worse? You are not doing it to your own people. You are not supporting it being done to your own people. You are not killing soldiers out there. What, what did the soldiers do to you? You sit down, you come. Oh, no, there was UGM, but unknown government. This one, that one. That one, Boko Haram. Yeah. This one, we have their own there. Bandit. That one, we have their... There are some of you that started by supporting this whole nonsense. I remember when we were talking about this. He said, oh, it can never happen in the Southeast. We in the Southeast. You know, the thing about Nigeria is this arrogance that we seem to have to think that our region is different. Certain things cannot happen. Criminals are criminals. Terrorists are terrorists. They are in every religion. They are in every tribe. They are in every gender. They are in every age group. So this superiority, some people say, oh, my religion can never do this. Oh, my tribe can never do this. This can only happen in the north. Where are we now? Where are we now? I say, where are we now? Where are we now? You're sitting down. You're killing people. You're terrorizing people. Especially those of you that, that are abroad there. Those of you that are abroad there. Ah, you will look for tears. Eh? You'll be looking for tears of relief. Those tears will lead you. Because you are not only wicked. You are not only wicked. You're, you are evil. You are evil. Sitting down in good places. Enjoying good leadership. Enjoying good governance. Enjoying development. And then allowing your people to be, to be living in fear. To be killed. To be treated anyhow. Just watch this video. Jesus. that we just saw a video from that house with the soldiers entry and everything you've taken them back to the civil war experience you've covered up a soldier entering their place how fearful you report it. lord have mercy obikabia junction in abia state that's a soldiers soldiers and uh, some soldiers have been were killed there the Abia said that it's something that where development is coming, where things are being done, at least you're hoping this is a state that is going to set example in Nigeria, probably trigger development that we're all looking for. Somewhere is coming. Now you're having 
all of this happened. And some of you might go, oh no, it is not uh, this thing. It is other people that are uh, uh, coming in. It, it is not the uh, iPod. It is not uh, whatever. It is, yes. How some people have a saying? That say, Bongoya, I get Katanga, they get Amun Damashida. That it is when the, the war cracks, that's when a leader, a leader will be able to enter inside. If you don't have an opening, if you don't put out an opening, they won't enter inside. And so right now you've put out an opening for all sorts of things. You think even 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 in the in the northeast where Boko Haram are doing, a lot of people say that that Bo, uh, Boko Haram is it's it's not really Boko Haram. It is uh, snipers that were brought in to pay back that Jonathan. I remember that time Jonathan. Some people were accusing that Jonathan was bringing in side, side, snipers from the uh, from other regions to come and kill people there. That it was payback for Biafra. That's what they, they two were saying. One except one time someone sat with me was telling me oh, how it was southerners that were doing it. And I think for a moment she forgot that I was a southerner. And I was looking at her like, what the heck? What are you trying to say here? This is it now. A whole region. You've turned it into something else. And with some of you that are supporting this nonsense, we'll see it will consume all of us. Sit down there and think that you do. Oh, you think you're free. Ah, you are living there. It is a day. Niger I always tell people, Nigeria has capacity to deal with anybody. It is the day that you come from that abroad to Nigeria, that you find your either your car or your something will be in the wrong way. And you, this thing that you supported, you will then be the beneficiary of the violence that you supported that has been meted out on other people all this while. You will not be that, 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 uh, that beneficiary of that violence. People think that they are immune. You're never immune from evil. Though. Evil is evil. And it will go around and it will affect everybody. Vanguard says the sit at home turns bloody as three soldiers fear dead in Abia. The sit at home declared by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, to celebrate Biafran heroes turned bloody in, in, in Abba. Abia said as three soldiers are feared dead following a government attack at military unit located at Obikabia Junction, Ogbo Hill, uh, Ogbo Hill area. How is, how is forcing people to sit at home a celebration? Why don't you come out and do more? Why don't, why don't you sit down and commemorate this thing? Talk about it. Let meet in certain places. Even if you say defiance, man, even if it's, even if it's a a a a, 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 whether a carnival or a morning process or something, but not forcing people to sit at home, reminding them of the same thing that was done to them. There are people, of course, there are a lot of people who are still survivors of, of, uh, uh, that are still alive today. Many people are like, well, it's, it's about just 50 years. Even World War, that was 70 something years. There are people who are still alive. So every time now, you now remind them of the harrowing experience they went through. Where you, you have to be hiding, you have to be under your bed, you have to, that, that's what they wanted to do and that's what you are not enforcing. Because you, the brain that God gave you, you decided to turn it into bread.